Hello, my paper crafting family. Welcome to the uh, Flora edition of Paper and Joy. Uh, a few weeks ago, I was in a florist shop and saw these cute little bunny ear grasses, and they were coloured pink and couldn't walk past them. And I thought, they're too cute, I have to do something with those. So, that is the inspiration for this month's card, which looks like this. Oops, I've got two versions. You can see the bunny ears. Uh, on there, so yeah, I hope you hope you like them like I do. I thought they were cute, and um, yeah, something different to do for our flora themed um, card. So let's have a look at what you get in your packs and get crafting. You get a page of different sentiments, so you can cut out which which one you'd like to choose for your card. You get a circle, uh, template circle, uh, because we, you can either make the circle version of the card or this um, diagonal version of the card. And they also do have some inside features, which I forgot to show you. So that's what I did for my circle one. And for the sort of triangular one, that was what I did for the inside. So you can choose which version you would prefer or whatever you decide to if you like to be creative um a sort of salmon colored envelope to match with the the glitter paper and the bunny ears um, the card base i'll just leave that for a minute um the glitter paper and i've given you three of the embossed craft paper circles so you can decide where you would like those um, the glitter paper also has um, a line on it if you'd like to do the triangle version or diagonal version, whatever we're going to call it. Um, so you can easily cut that or you can trace, cut out your circles from your template. Oops. Cut out the circles from your template and then trace them around onto the glitter paper and cut those out depending on if you, which version of the card you would like to do. So that's those. Your bunny ears are popped into this amended version of a uh, matchbox box just to protect them in transit. Um, so just pull them out from the bottom here and just slide them out so you don't pull off the grasses, you know, the grassy top bits. And then I've also included this piece of vellum. So when you are sending your card, you can use that to protect the bunny ears again. So just pop, pop it in there. fold it over and then that just gives a bit of protection to the bunny ears. Um, you can pop a little bit of a dot of glue there if you like or it just sits quite neatly by itself if you would, if you just want to leave it that's fine too and then you stick it in the envelope. Okay all right so let's get started. We're going to start with the inside um, because then we're not we don't have the bunnies on the, the front when we're trying to uh, fold it open to to do the outside. So grab your card base and also your glitter paper. I'm going to do the diagonal version for this one. So cut out your cut along your, your strip, uh, your line. one piece becomes the front which is the piece with this straight edge so that will be our our front piece so pop that aside and then your inside piece is this triangle so you can just measure up how big you would like it I think just a little bit for me grab your glue stick And pop a bit of glue on however big you would like it and then stick that on push down and 
and while that's drying we will trim the edge but while that is drying you can grab one of your decorative circle pieces so I've just embossed some patterns on there to make those look a little bit interesting too and glue that on and then we can chop the other piece off there nice bit of glue because it will need a little bit uh, a fairly thick glue given it's going onto glitter paper which is always quite thick and yeah the, the surface area isn't flat so you need a bit more glue for glitter paper that's what I'm finding here and a good strong press then you can turn the card over and trim your excess piece off of the glitter paper. It's easier if you do it, if you fold it over and uh, turn it over and do it on the back. Okay, so that's the inside done. You can pop your, um, use your yogurt container bin for any bits you don't need. Okay, now we can do the front. So again, we're going to use some glue. This has a little bit of overhang again. Makes it easier to pop it on and not have to worry about getting things exact. So, let's stick some glue on that. Centre first and then the edges. To make it stick nicely and easily and not sort of come loose. Okay. So this edge lines up with the folded edge of the card and the bottom edge. And a good press. Next we're going to put our sentiment on because I find that positioning that helps you then position the bunny ears a bit better. So decide which one you want. I'm going to use this best wishes and cut that out. So inside the black lines. And if you overcut just an, a bit on the corners, it just makes a neater cut rather than trying to move your scissors. So just overcut, 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 and then that will be, oops, overcut, overcut, uh, a neater cut. And glue that on. Glue nicely around the edges. And just eyeball that. Just sort of maybe about a, I don't know what that is, like a centimetre edge. <laughs> okay. And we'll grab another of your embossed circles and your bunny ears. And we'll stick those on. Now we can sort of position them of how they fit in with the, the sentiment piece up there. Now you can put your circle down low, just at the edge of the glitter, a bit above the glitter, whatever you, if it looks nicest to you. Um, where will I go? I think maybe just on the line. bit of glue hold them together and push down there we go Make 
make sure that that is sticking. You might need a bit of extra glue because again we're on glitter paper. So it's a bit harder to stick on glitter paper. Yeah, I need a bit of extra. And then if you want you can trim the ends of the the grass where it's not to your liking. And we'll also trim this side piece as well. And then we're done. There we go. Alright, so let's trim the side. So turn it over again so you've got that you can see the line where you're gonna cut. And there is your card. So I look forward to seeing what you come up, come up with. Uh, whether you use the circle version, whether you use this um, diagonal version, and how your creativity will um, flourish when you make this card. So yeah, look forward. Happy to post for you to post pictures in the Facebook group or in Instagram and show me what you've come up with. I would love to see them. All right, bye for now. See you next time.